subscribe to the Light Sports and Ultra Light Flyer web video magazine with hundreds and hundreds of videos now online, including air show coverage, Rotax engine tech tips, Rotax 377, 447, 503, 532, and 582 engine rebuilding videos each two hours in length, propeller maintenance, advisors, and repairs, VRS parachute saves, Bing carb updates, and much, much more. Get a yearly subscription at www.ultralightflyer.com. While we're down in Paradise City, the light plane area of Sun and Fun 2011, where there's been some great changes, and the leader of the pack is Dave Pfeiffer here. Dave is the chairman of the uh, light plane area, has been in that role for some years, and has worked very hard to make some wonderful improvements to this area. We're very excited about it. Dave, tell us a couple of the things that have been accomplished since folks have looked in last. Oh, well, one of the big things is the company in the, the ditch on the approach end at night. The approach end of nine has got a, we looked out there, it's got a nice ramp, a big concrete culvert. Big old you, arrow on it. <laughs> and you told me that the airport is behind this. It's not just something that you did on your own. The airport is in, me, embracing this thing. It was, since they've become, a, this has become a certified runway, now they're doing all kinds of things to really help us out. With the, with the culvert out here, we've got uh, promise for next year. To, to, to get the other end done. Excellent. So I'm going to recap that a little bit. This is a DOT approved runway here in Paradise City. That happened two years ago, Dave told me. But as a part of that, other things have gotten triggered. The culvert and the, uh, the uh, filling in of that big ugly ditch down there looks really handsome now. Of course, the clear zone has been there anyway, but you've got a nice approach to this runway and almost any airplane in the light segment can easily use this now. The runway's always been long enough, but the approaches maybe left something to be desired, so that's getting fixed a lot. But now, in addition, at the other end, the money's already been allocated, you said, or, or determined anyway, and they're going to also fix the, the uh, big ditch at the uh, east end of the runway. And it's got a big clear zone. Suddenly, we've got a real proper runway here at Paradise City and other improvements. This is also being used, you said, by some RC guys, some RC jets. Yeah, we're actually standing on their runway. So we're on their runway right now. There's some brand new grass down here underneath our feet. This is all exciting stuff, other uses for this area, and Paradise City coming back alive in an exciting new way. And thanks heavily to Dave's work. He's been the leader of the pack, but he's very kind to say, I'm not the only one. There's other people doing good we stuff, got 100, too. We got 135 volunteers out here to do this. 135? That's a lot of people. That puts you in a manager's position, doesn't it? Is that what that's called? <laughs> and I just saw him give some great direction to one of his lieutenants. He said, I gave you the job, go do the job. That's the way a manager ought to work, in my humble opinion. Great job, Dave. Thank you very much. Keep up the good work out here. I understand some plans for next year still to come yet. Some more plans to come. Yes, the culvert work. But what else? Anything else? Well, we, something else we've done this year, too. The campground has moved more into our area. It makes it a lot more friendly. You can actually come out and camp and watch the runway. Excellent. Watch the campground the used to be on the other side of some big trees. The trees are gone. That was the airport's decision. But the campers have come across the way and are now right in Paradise City. So literally sit in your motorhome if you got the right seat anyway or your trailer or your tent and watch the action right out, right outside you. That's pretty cool. Also on the uh, south side of the ditch, which if anybody's been here before familiar with, We've got a promise next year, all that going to be completely gone. Now we're looking back over here at this, uh, what has always been a, uh, a turbulator, you might say. Uh, well, it's prevailing winds come across there all the time. we got south winds out here a lot. They have to come over a bunch of trees and bushes. That's going to change too. So if you've not looked in at Pipe by Paradise City lately, you need to come and have another look down here in the fun end of Sun and Fun 2011.